What's up Royals? Hope you're all doing well. And this is the net cutting video. But first I gotta give a quick thanks to our sponsor, Redline Shipping. Great products, great service. I use them. Go give them a try. And while you're there, use promo code Robin60 for 60% off. And you can also use my promo code Kai5 for an additional $5 off your next shipping label. This is the last attempt to making hypo puzzles. Last one. And honestly, we don't have the best pairing here. It is a double head hypo puzzle. So the 100% double head hypo puzzle to a fire bumblebee hypo possible head for puzzle. So now we all know that spider is usually a very strong gene. It gets passed down quite often. And that's the thing we don't have going for us. Um, I'm okay with missing on the puzzle. Of course, I would love to hit the puzzle, but I'm okay with missing on it as long as we also miss on the spider. So let's go. Five eggs. Come on. Puzzle? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This... Are you kidding me? That's... That's a... I think that's a... F fire puzzle? Maybe it's a pastel puzzle? Like I said, the mom's a bumblebee. What I ident identify her as. So, pastel fire spider. Um... I thought she's hypo. She looked hypo to me. Very light in color. This doesn't look hypo, so maybe she's not hypo. The other possibility is that the pastel vanilla hypo het puzzle. Wait, that doesn't make sense either, because that's a. He's also. Oh! I'm so stupid. The dad is het for hypo. So, okay, so this is. Head hypo because a mom is a visual hypo, but um, it's not a, this one is not a visual because a dad is head for hypo. Okay, that makes sense. I saw a puzzle and I just I, I just lost it, man. Ooh, holy crap! That is puzzle. That's got to be a puzzle, right? I'm gonna be so upset if this thing crawls out and it's not a puzzle. <laughs> oh man! All right, let's let's cut. Let's cut. Let's cut. That's what we're here for. We're here to cut some eggs. Egg number two. And this looks like some kind of firefly hypo. Or maybe just a pastel hypo. But it's not a puzzle. That doesn't look like the hypo pattern. But this one does. This one does. I, I got it. I wish it would stick its head out a little bit further. I want to take a look at that eye stripe. I want to take a look at the, the neck bands. I want to take a look at some of the pattern along the side of the neck. Oh man, can't wait for that one to crawl out. All right, let's see if we can get any more. Oh, this one doesn't look great. It looks like it's a little bit twisted. And this looks like a pastel hat for hypo. Pasat for puzzle. You can see that's twisted around. I wonder if I could. So what I'm, what I would do in this case, if you guys are in the same situation, and you can see that the yolk and the umbilical is wrapped around its body, I would leave it alone. Sometimes they work themselves out, but I I'm going to keep an eye on it. And what I would do is maybe maybe tomorrow, because it is nighttime, maybe tomorrow when I wake up, um, if it's still like this, what I would do is I would cut relief cuts. So basically cut, because right now there's still a lot of that um, goo in here and it helps them 
um, absorb the yolk and helps them lubricate. So I'm gonna try to not mess with this today. But tomorrow, that goo's gonna dry up, all these veins are gonna recede. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut relief cuts down the side. And what that's gonna do is, if you can imagine once you cut it, the egg will kind of open up and it gives it more room to move around so that it can unravel itself. So I'm gonna do that in the morning and if it still doesn't unravel itself by by nighttime, then maybe I would intervene and try to, um, you know, uncoil it and unwrap that yolk and cord from around its body. All right, nice little lesson there. Hope that was helpful. All right, egg number four. Egg number four. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, okay, this is a light one, light in color. Okay, this this may be, wow, this, this guy has some yolk in it as well. I mean, one did pip, so they should all be in similar development. This one, that is a really crazy head pattern. That looks like, I mean, I, I almost want to say it looks clownish, but there's no clown here. Um, it does look like it has spider. It does look like it has some kind of, it's just some kind of spider combination. Um, you know what? This could be a puzzle spider. Could have fire in it. I'm going to call it fire spider puzzle. Um, doesn't look like a typo. So it'll be head for hypo since the mom is a visual. All right. So we got two puzzles. You know what this means? This means that the bumblebee fire, whatever female hypo female, it proved out to be head for puzzle. I mean, she, Currently is listed as poshet, and now she. This is another spider. Now this one is definitely hypo. You can tell the difference. You see how light those blacks are, almost grayish, like a frosted look. So that is definitely hypo. The pattern tells me it's spider. It's got something else in here besides spider. Hard to tell. I can't really see the head. I'm hoping these lateral lines you can see right here. So that this is the dorsal. That's the dorsal, and then you can see a lot of lateral lines on the side. I'm hoping that's an indication of the puzzle. So this means I have two, three puzzles, um, two of which happen to be spider, and this one is the hypo version. So we're pretty good on the on the hypo odds. That that worked out really well, to be honest. Um, so we got five eggs. Everybody looks healthy and alive we just have to keep an eye on this one right here so once they all crawl out of their eggs i'm going to give you guys an update so stay tuned all right i want to give you guys an update on this clutch start off with this one this is a simple pastel and when i cut the egg i did say it was a simple pastel but <laughs> in my mind there was something about that egg that made me hope that it was a puzzle unfortunately that didn't turn out to be true however this is a female which is nice so this whole clutch if they're not visual puzzles they're 66 percent head for puzzles because as you know we did hit a couple puzzles in this clutch and this is a female pastel 66 66 percent head for puzzle 100 percent head for hypo so if anybody wants to get into the hypo puzzle game Here's a nice female for you guys to start and very clean and bright as well. So this next one here is a step up from the last girl because this is a visual hypo. So pastel, visual hypo, 66% head for a puzzle. And that hypo just makes it so much cleaner, it gives that frosty look. Look at that head, it's almost completely washed out. Very cool. And like I said, it is a female. We got pretty lucky with the sex ratio. I believe there's five eggs and three of them are females. Yep. Got a little bit of juice on my gloves, but that's okay. That's why I'm wearing the gloves. So here we are. 
nice hypo, pastel hypo female. And I am waiting for the puzzle test for RGI to come out with their puzzle test so I can get some of these girls tested. Hopefully we can find out we have a 100% heifer puzzle here. Next up we have our very first puzzle. Of course it does have the spider gene attached to it. But this combo looks pretty cool. It has a very nice pattern. Spider does give that webbing look and it works well actually with the puzzle. It doesn't overpower it and they don't overpower each other. And I do like that spider head pattern. Um, I think it kind of looks like elk horns. And this is a female, so I am contemplating whether or not to hold this back. But yeah, I'm really, really happy that we hit a, a puzzle in this clutch. I don't think this one is a is a hypo. You can see how dark the blacks are, very crisp colors. So uh, it doesn't have that contrast, that, that frosty look to make me think that it's hypo. So like I said, I think this is the spider puzzle and 100% Het for hypo and it's a female. Next up we have my hold back. I kind of made the decision to hold this one back as soon as I saw it in the egg. This is a pastel puzzle, 100% het for hypo and it is a male so that's great because as you guys know I have I think four females um, in the puzzle project. They're all up to size. We were able to prove two of them out to be het for puzzle and the other ones we're still unsure of. So using this to breed back to them is going to definitely help with um, finding out if they are head puzzle or not. And of course, like I mentioned, the test is going to come out soon. So we might be able to find out sooner than later. But yeah, really happy with this one, considering adding him to some other, you know, multi recessive projects. Now that I have a puzzle, that should be underway just haven't figured out which other recessive to be combining with the puzzle just yet feel like the desert ghost has been done already um, if i were to do desert ghost i definitely want to make sure that there was another recessive in it so i can make triples because i guess making doubles just isn't enough these days and the last one look at how beautiful this is oh my goodness and there's no wobble with any of my spiders as you can see this one right here got all the genes. The mom is a fire bumblebee hypo. And now we proved her out to be 100% heifer puzzle. And the dad is a double het hypo puzzle. So it probably pretty much got everything. So this is a hypo puzzle with all three of those codoms. And this is such a beautiful snake, great little animal. Super happy with the results. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. This one is getting a little antsy, so I'm going to end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.